A warm That's welcome to everybody. Today, I would like to demonstrate just how simple and quick it is to commission our new Synamics S210 servo drive system. Our S210 is a single access servo converter with a focus on achieving a high dynamic performance, simple commissioning, and fast cabling. Our new one cable technology means that this device can be very quickly cabled. Using the innovative one cable technology, you can quickly and simply establish a connection to our new S1FK2 servo motor with a high dynamic performance. You simply turn it to latch and the connector can now be rotated to facilitate simple installation. On the other end, you just have to insert the cable into the converter to complete the electrical installation. With this step, you have already connected the converter to the motor. You now have to connect the control voltage and the main power voltage. To commission the device quickly and simply, you just have to connect your laptop to the converter using the LAN cable, and you can already start. Having established the connection to the device, you must first open the web server. To do this, go into your browser, for example, Internet Explorer, and enter the internet address. Having completed this step, you have 10 minutes to enter a password. And once you have assigned and entered a password, you can log on as administrator and access our start page. The converter with its technical data is positioned in the center of the start page. The laptop and its web address that you entered can be seen at the top. And at the bottom, for example, you can see the connected controller, in this case, a Somatic S7-1500. The motor can be seen on the right-hand side, the S1FK2 motor, which has been specifically developed for this system. Here you can see the connecting cable, which transfers the electronic rating plate data and all of the technical motor data to the converter. This means that you no longer have to make any settings at all. The only thing that you have to do now is optimize the motor controller, as of course the converter and motor do not know what sort of load they are driving. To optimize the system, we have provided a commissioning screen and the one-button tuning function. The one-button tuning function is used to optimize the converter controller in order to achieve the required dynamic performance that you need for the machine that you're controlling. One of three options can be selected conservative, standard, or dynamic. To start commissioning the controller, simply press Take Control. Once you see this orange bar, then you can operate the drive. You now simply go to Start Tuning, and the only thing you have to do is set the rotation limit. Typically, you must enter at least 90 degrees so that a good controller setting can be achieved. If you now click OK, the motor starts to rotate and the controller automatically optimizes itself. You can see the previous values here once the setting has been made. These are the default values that the converter automatically sets. And now also the actual values that were calculated by the control and the measurement and have been set in the device. At this point, you have essentially commissioned the drive. Now what you can also do is operate the device manually. This is done from the control panel. You must enter a speed, for example, 1500 revolutions per minute, and then you can operate the motor, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now return the control, which completes commissioning the drive. You must now save the parameters that you have set by pressing the Save button. You have now commissioned the drive with one button tuning. I would now like to show you the other web screen forms. One of these is the screen form to complete the safety settings. With the safety settings, you can now select basic safety functions. For example, safe torque off, which you can then activate here. For example, you can select whether your drive is controlled using Profinet with the Profisafe protocol or using hardwired terminals. On the Diagnostics page, you can see all of the actual messages, alarms and faults, which you can also acknowledge here. You can make two settings in the parameter screen form, speed and torque limits, for example. Here, you also have the option of appropriately parameterizing inputs and outputs. Or you can display a complete list of all of the S210 parameters. The next screen form is used to save your selected parameters to a hard disk, for example. 
You do this by creating a parameter file and saving it. You can also select a file that has already been saved and transfer this to the converter. Or perhaps you wish to restore the factory settings for the device using this button below. In the last screen form, in System Settings, you can change the password that you selected, for example. Using the Service and Support button here at the bottom, you can find links to our website and also additional information about your Synamics S210 drive system. I hope I was able to demonstrate just how easy it is to commission our new Synamics S210 drive system. Thanks for watching.